Hi, welcome back to Step by Step GuitarTuition.com. This is the seventh lesson in the Step 5 module. In this lesson, I'll go back over one of the fingerstyle patterns that we looked at in the previous modules and I'll expand on it by introducing major seventh chords. If you haven't yet mastered those patterns or the major seventh chords, then I'd recommend going over them again until you feel comfortable with them before you continue with this lesson. Let me begin by reminding you of the fingerstyle pattern that I showed you in step 2, lesson 7. For this exercise we're going to use the same pattern but with different chords and including major 7ths. The chords I'm going to use this time are A, A major 7, D, D major 7, E and E7. For the A chord, start by plucking the 5th string with your thumb, and then the 3rd string with your 1st finger, the 2nd string with your 2nd finger, and the 3rd string with, sorry, the 1st string with your 3rd finger. And then the 4th string with your thumb, and then those top 3 strings again. So that's 5th string with your thumb, and then the top 3 strings, then the 4th string with your thumb the top three strings and do the same thing on A major 7 fifth string fourth string thumb top three strings sixth string top three strings for the D chord start by playing the fourth string with your thumb and those top three strings again and then the 5th string with your thumb 4th string with your thumb, top 3 strings, 5th string and then change to D major 7 and do the same thing thumb on the 4th, top 3 strings and then 5th string, top 3 strings 4th, 5th For the E chord, start with the 6th string with your thumb top 3 strings then the 5th string with your thumb and the top 3 and do the same for E7 6th string with your thumb top 3 strings 5th string with your thumb 6th string with your thumb 1st, 2nd, 3rd fingers 5th 6th 5th Ok now let's try putting all that together in the following sequence, we're going to play A, A major 7, D, D major 7, E, E7, A and lastly E and uh, again I'm going to play along with the metronome. So after 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, A major 7, D, D major 7 E E7 E E and then start it again E E major 7 and D D major 7 E E7 a, E, For this next exercise we'll use the same patterns but this time we'll use the chords C, C major 7, A minor, E minor, F major 7, G and G7. Let me just show you how that That'll go. Okay, for the C chord, I start by plucking the fifth string and then the top three strings as usual. And then the 4th string, and 
then for the C major 7, the same thing, 5th string, 4th string, 5th string, 4th. And then for the A minor, the same again, 5th string, and then the 4th string with your thumb. And for the E minor, start on the 6th string, and then the 4th. And then change to F major 7. For this one, start on the 4th string. And then play the open 5th string. And then change to uh, G7. 6th string on the bottom, then the 5th string. And then back to C. 5th string, 4th string. Okay, you find that sequence in your lesson notes. So we'll try that with the metronome now. After four, one, two, three, four. For the last exercise we'll try the same pattern using the chords G, G major 7, C, C major 7, A minor, E minor and D7 and we'll play them in this sequence G, G major 7, C, C major 7, A minor, D7, E minor and then D. So for the G chord, start with the, the 6th string with your thumb, and then the top 3 strings, and then the 4th string with your thumb. And the same for G major 7. And then for the C chord, start with the 5th string, top 3 strings, and then the 4th string. And the same for C major 7. For the A minor, the same thing again, 5th string, and then 4th string. And for the D7, Start with the 4th string, and then the 5th, and then for the E minor, 6th string, followed by the 4th, and then back to the D, 4th string, 5th string. Ok, we'll try that with the metronome now. 1, 2, 3, 4, G, G major 7, C, C major 7, a minor, D7, E minor, and D, and then start again, G, G major 7, C, C major 7, A minor, D7, and E minor. And then D, and end on the G. So there you have some fingerstyle exercises using dominant 7th and major 7th chords. And hopefully you can hear how those chords can be used to add colour to an otherwise simple chord progression. Practice them slowly and accurately aiming to repeat the patterns consistently without making mistakes. And don't forget to play along with a metronome to develop your timing. You can find these patterns that we've looked at today in the notes that accompany this lesson. I look forward to seeing you in Lesson 8, where we'll look at the note names of the first five frets of the third string. Okay, I'll see you then.